Well, you guys, my battery's dead. Hey guys, so the month of February, what I'm gonna do is you guys have been really, really good at asking lots of questions. Some of the questions I have answered in previous videos, but they were so long ago. And honestly, some of the things have changed. Some of the answers are just garbage of mine. So for the whole month of February, every week, I'm going to take my most frequently asked questions and do a video answering them. Today will be a video all about one of my most frequently asked questions, which is what breed of sheep do we have? I have answered this before, but I thought I'd go into a little more detail and actually show you the animal as to which animal is what. And then what I wanna do is draw out a little bit of a schematic as to what it's going to look like for my future generations of ewes. I guess the trick in this whole commercial breeding operation is finding, finding that perfect blend of an animal that still gives you really good market traits but also gives you really good maternal traits. So that's kind of what I've always been experimenting with and, and I'm happy with the breeds I'm working with right now. So my biggest breeds is the Steel Composite U, that's my maternal line, the Suffolk, the Ile de France, and the Rito. So those are the ones I work with and I'm gonna go into a little bit, a little more detail of how those fit into my program. I guess I should take you back to the beginning of when I actually decided to keep my own replacement ewe lambs back. I needed a good genetic uh, base for my flock. So I purchased 180 of these ewes here, this girl from John and Edie Steel. So I've nicknamed this breed a steel composite. Okay, I texted Edie just to get this right. This is what she wrote me. The foundation ewes were Rito Arcot crossed with Pole Dorsets, F1s to be precise, in the late 1990s. We originally kept records on 14 ram families. Then in 2002, we added some British milk sheep semen to a few family lines. In the past few years, we added New Zealand Coopworth and Tefram genetics. Tefram is a New Zealand composite of Texel, East Frisian and Romney. So in her words, it's just easier to say maternal composites and I agree. It is quite literally a blend of a lot of breeds that they've worked with. So that first year that I bred those steel composite ewes, the original ewes, I just bred them to the rams I had. It was a mass breeding group so I didn't know who was breeding who. I had a whole bunch of different ram breeds. So quite honestly, I have no idea who the original F1 cross ewe lambs, I don't know who they are sired by. So here's a really crude diagram. So I started with my steel composite, original U. I bred them to God knows what, whatever I had in the barn at the time. And then I came out with these 2016 U lambs, which is just a steel cross. 50% steel, 50%, I have no idea. That's my 2016 U lamb population. So my 2017 ewe lamb population looks a little bit different. I crossed the steel composite original ewes to Rito, and I also had those steel cross ewe lambs, the F1 generation. I bred them to Rito's as well. 2017 is a little bit of, of those two for my ewe replacement lambs. Again, here's a very crude diagram. The original steel composite I bred to Rito. They do not have horns, but that's the picture I got to give me these 2017 F1 ewe lamb crosses. So they are a pure steel Rito cross. And the same with those uh, 2016 ewe lamb F1 crosses. I bred them to the Rito and that just gives me, I call it an F2. I don't know if that is the correct term or not, but it's the steel, it's the steel composite's granddaughter. Now we're back to 25% steel, 25% unknown, and 50% Rito. So trying to bring a little more prolificity back into that U. The 2018 U lambs are a little bit of a mix of everything. The ones you see here mostly are Rito sired. So they'll be either steel cross Rito or the steel Rito. 
I do have a few uh, Suffolk sired and Ile-de-France sired ewes in these groups too, just because I needed the numbers. They're getting bred right now. They were born last March. So whatever was bred, potentially bred by Suffolk went with the Ile-de-France. And then whatever was bred Ile-de-France were bred to the Suffolk. Likely most of these will be kept as market lambs. <laughs> So my maternal line from 2016 to current looks kind of like this. I have the old girl at the top, steel composite. She's a purebred, <laughs> as pure as she can be, a steel composite ewe. Her first set of daughters is just a cross to an unknown ram. Her granddaughter is the, I guess the F2, so it's that steel cross that I bred back to Rido. So that's my second group of ewe lambs. My third group of ewe lambs, back to the original old girl, steel composite, I bred her back Rito. So that's right now what I'm working on. So there you have it. Uh, I'm basically working with four breeds in the barn at all times. Uh, the steel composite, the Rito, Ile-de-France, and Suffolk. The Suffolk and Ile-de-France, really I just want for my terminal side market lambs, not really caring about keeping them back. But I have, I have kept a few of their offspring back if I just didn't have enough Rito sired. What I do want to do in the future is, uh, because my, my original steel composite ewes are getting quite a bit older right now, I think I'm going to talk to John and Edie in this next coming year and buy a few steel composite rams and actually have a purebred, they're not purebred, but anyway, a purebred steel composite ewe lambs back on the farm and then I can basically start all over with that with those genetics so that's kind of the only thing I'm thinking about changing in the near future the Suffolk and the Ile de France are those rams are about two years old now to maybe working on their third year so I will have to get on an order list quite likely uh, just to make sure I have some when these boys get too old. I hope that answers your question. Breed again is, I hate telling people what to buy and what to get. You have to do what works for you. I really like the Dorset Rito. Um, I love those genetics, which the steel composite is comprised of. I love those genetics for lambing. So they will still always be my favorite right now on a maternal side. I like to have Rito Dorset in them somewhere. So that's kind of the only thing I really kind of want. Ram side, uh, so far I'm just really happy with the way they're lambing out and the way they're growing. So I'm just going to stay the course. Hope that answers your question. Take care. Thanks for watching.